Roger Montgomery from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Typically, these short videos are published to provide you with market insights, global or domestic stock ideas for you to research, or educational content such as our recent videos on identifying quality and value. This week, I depart from the usual format to talk about the transformation Montgomery Investment Management has undertaken over the last three years or so. Back then, we met with two gentlemen, Gary Rollo and Dominic Rose, who impressed us with their investment process and their investment performance in the small cap space. Disciplined, passionate and intellectually honest, meeting Gary and Dom led to a joint venture and to the Montgomery Small Companies Fund. Since its inception in September 2019, the Montgomery Small Companies Fund, under Gary and Dom's leadership, has outperformed the small cap benchmark by almost 4% per annum, 3.87% to be precise. And remember, this period includes the disruption to markets and economies caused by the pandemic. Our warm working relationship with Gary and Dom gave us an appetite to search for other unrecognised or little known managers who were shooting the lights out and who might complement our existing strategies. With a global gap in our lineup, we discovered the wonderful people at Poland Capital. Based in Boca Raton, Florida, and with offices in Boston and London, and now US 82 billion under management, Poland was founded in 1979. Its flagship fund, the Poland Focus Growth Fund, has been running continuously since 1989, and over those 33 years, the fund has beaten the S&P 500 by just under 3% per annum. Remember, that's three decades. That performance may just offer an answer to whether active management can beat the index. In Australia, we now provide exclusive access for private and retail investors to Poland's Global Growth Fund, managed by Damon Ficklin and Jeff Mueller, and the Global Small and Mid-Sized Companies Fund, managed by Rob Forker. And in the not too distant future, we expect to launch Poland's Global Emerging Markets Growth Fund. Another gap we identified in our lineup, and one that needed to also meet investor needs, was income. Some have solved this investor need with high yield equity funds, but we believed a better solution involved uncorrelated returns, returns that didn't move in line with equities. We found and teamed up with Brett Craig at Aura Group. Prior to establishing Aura Funds Management Group, Brett held a number of roles at Macquarie Group over an 11 year period, including Vice President Debt Markets, where he focused on originating, structuring and distributing debt products, primarily in the Australian market. The Aura High Yield SME Fund is a wholesale fund investing in private credit. In the five years since its inception, which takes in the global pandemic, Brett and his team, through providing credit to SMEs, have produced monthly income for their investors and no negative months, generating a compounded annual return of 9.62%. Montgomery offers access to the Aura High Yield SME Fund to wholesale and sophisticated investors, and we will soon launch the Aura Core Income Fund for retail investors. Most recently and finally, we've brought Australian Eagle under our umbrella to manage our all cap Australian equities mandates, including the Montgomery Fund, the Montgomery Private Fund with me, and we'll also be distributing the Australian Eagle Long Short Fund. For 17 years, Sean, Allen and their team have shown it is possible to materially beat the major market index investing in Australian equities, and we're absolutely delighted to have Sean, Allen and Daniel joining me here at our offices in Castle Ray Street. If any of these funds interest you, or you believe your clients or your advisor might be interested in them, please give Montgomery a call and ask for Toby Roberts or Dean Curnow. Next week, we return to our regular programming and I'll discuss the way to think about markets such that you are taking advantage of them rather than being taken advantage of. In the meantime, continue to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.